For this short video, we're going to take you through a typical shoot at our studio. I photographed Alia and Bailey several times in the past and their mother wanted some simple natural portraits that just showed who they were at this stage of their lives. As with all our sessions, we start off with a tea or a coffee or water and just a bit of chit chat that gives everyone a chance to relax and calm down. I want to try and diffuse any tensions or anxieties that they may have about having their photograph taken. I make a particular point to talk to each of the children to establish a bond and to create a connection. I like to get down to their level and to talk to them about things that are interesting to them. No? Oh. <laughs> you can't say no. <laughs> yes is the right. Once it feels like everyone's nice and relaxed, I invite people to move into the studio. We might take some time looking around and showing the kids the lights, and this just naturally turns into the photo shoot. All of our clients have had a pre-shoot consult where we've sat down and we've talked about things like location and clothing and what to expect on the day. In the studio, I'm shooting using a light through a softbox, using only the modelling light and shooting at a wide open aperture and working quite close to start off with. Again, I'm talking to the children, engaging them in conversation and just trying to get them to talk about things that are interesting to them. So do you go to school now? No. No. I go to school this year. Oh, this year? After yeah. the oldest, huh? Which school are you going to do? La Minia. La Minia. One, two, three, go. we've got those images, we move to the front door where the available light coming through the door makes for a really nice light coming into a dark studio. The studio has a curved wall in it which allows me to shoot from a variety of different positions without having to worry about my background. You're good at this, aren't you? <laughs> so tell me. Last time I saw you, it was, a, was it a wedding, wasn't it? Yeah. Whose wedding was that? Sarah. Sarah. Once I have what, what I need, or the kids lose interest, we can move outside. Our landscape front yard has many wonderful areas that allow me to shoot a variety of different images while keeping the kids interested. They have the freedom to move around and to explore the rocks, and this all helps to create natural candid portraits. Oh. That's it. Excellent. Oh, where are you going? You going up? Oh, you need to be there. Oh, that's the way. You know how to do that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> My aim is for the kids to have a good time and to go away feeling that having their portrait taken is not a bad thing to do. I know I will be seeing them again in the not too distant future and I don't want to make their visits to our studio a negative experience. Even great rocks can only hold a four year old's attention for so long. And if you can get 40 minutes of shooting time, you're doing well. Lean forward like this. Now my favourite rock is on um, this one. <laughs> Who brought her? <laughs> <laughs> Who brought her? <laughs> Mum was in a week later and loved the images that we'd captured for her.